Welcome to India. Hey there, my name is Lucy and this is my husband Lahiru. We live in our beautiful home on the paradise island of Sri Lanka, but feel it's about time we did a bit of travelling. This is Ru's first time leaving Sri Lanka and her first time travelling on a plane. So this is a really exciting venture for him and one we're really grateful to be able to share with you guys. So thanks for being here to join us on this new journey to India. In this episode, we're heading out into the mad streets of Delhi. Hi, how are you? Immersing ourselves in the chaotic markets. This is absolutely And trying to stay sane as we have a hectic start to our travels around India. We're trying to stay positive in a time when we know we're pretty damn screwed. Of course, a huge thank you to our beautiful Patreons and channel members who are our great support and allow us to make trips like this possible. We love you guys. And of course, thanks to everyone who has subscribed. You're amazing. We're going to India! As we take in the glorious scenery on this train ride up to Colombo, passing over bridges, along beaches, under palm trees, and watching people go about their mornings as they travel to work or get ready to start their day. At this moment, we were so excited for the journey ahead, traveling new places and learning new things. I can't believe this is my first proper travel in almost four years. The last time being when I actually ventured to Sri Lanka back in 2020. We're actually walking to the bus station to get on a bus that will take us to the airport. Hopefully, that's what I read online anyway, so let's see if it works. We've never done that before. Airport bus? Airport! very very stressful morning and we just checked in I forgot to look if we needed a return flight or onward travel evidence so then we just had the stress of booking another ticket but we're all good we're heading to gate and hopefully the stress is finished now this day has just been full of stress even at immigration we had a load of stress and we got separated but we're back together again and we're on our way to the gate we're going to India how are you feeling I'm good with them. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, excited. Nervous? No, nervous. No nervous? Yeah. Excited. <laughs> First time on a plane. Woo Today, very exciting day. This is my first time. This time and live in Sri Lanka. Are you excited now? Yeah. <laughs> First time and traveling outside my country. A new adventure going to India. to Delhi. How was your first ever flight? It's nice. After this painful my ear. Your ear's painful coming yeah. down. How does it feel to not be in Sri Lanka? Maybe same, yeah, Sri Lanka. <laughs> Doesn't feel any different because the temperature's exactly the same. Yeah, same. 
It's nice. <laughs> you wait till we get out on the busy streets in Delhi, yeah. then you'll think we're in a different place. Yeah. So we have arrived in India, we've actually landed in Chennai and we have a connection flight because this isn't our last stop of the day, we're actually heading to New Delhi. So we've got like a three hour layover and then we get on to our next flight all the way to Delhi and we should... Find the food. <laughs> yeah, we need to find some food. We should be landing in Delhi at 9.30, so it'll be night time by the time we get there. Okay, so we are still in Chennai airport, but we're trying to figure out the domestic transfer and like where we're going. I'm so confused right now. I'm super, super rusty with international travel to the point that we have forgotten to tell our bank that we're going overseas. And I also don't have my bank card, which allows me to use my bank overseas. So right now we have no money at all. So I have to try to figure out what we're going to do in order to survive the next two weeks. Then we'll fight. The second flight of the day. <laughs> we're trying to stay positive in a time when we know we're pretty damn screwed. <laughs> we got no money. We've got no way of getting money. Now we have a fight to Delhi. Now night time, we see very beautiful light. I go up, fly over both the city. We made it to Delhi. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy getting here with all the little streets and all the crazy traffic, but we're here, it's like 10 o'clock I think. So we're gonna head out and try and find some food. And then I think in the morning, just try to figure out our bank situation and try to find a SIM card. And yeah, just try to think with, try to think with a fresh mind about this situation that we're in. This is all my mistake. I'm just a rusty traveler that completely forgot to advise the bank that we're coming to India. So, oh well. <laughs> See you in the morning. Today, I will own walking through, through all day. Traffic, too much and smell, too much and very plastic, very very big cow on the road, very very big market. This market, these people no smile, no talking, very very pushing, Delhi and big city. Yeah, at this point we were both very overwhelmed and way out of our comfort zones. But that's to be expected when you venture out on your own into the busy streets of old Delhi. Delhi is as crazy as I remember it four years ago and maybe even more crazy because Diwali is coming up so I don't know maybe it's even more crazy than normal we've just done the most craziest part which was the market back there now we're heading to the Red Fort I believe and we're just walking everywhere we're gonna be knackered by the end of the day but it's such a good way to see everything and really soak in all the experience and the smells and everything <laughs>
Made from red sandstone, the historic Red Fort is located in Old Delhi and was once the main residence for Mughal emperors. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2007, every year on Independence Day, the president hoists the Indian flag here. After a chaotic few hours exploring this part of the city, we slowly made our way back to our hostel, well, tried to at least. I think that what shocked us most about today is witnessing how little people here care for other people around them. It came across as a lack of kindness and respect for the well-being of others. Oh, and of course, the sheer amount of trash. We grabbed a cup of tea and watched the world go by before heading back to our room to wash our feet. Okay, now we've come to a more quiet location. I feel like I can talk to the camera and I'm just gonna be a little bit negative here just because it's my opinion and I'm feeling very, very overwhelmed by everything now. I came to Delhi, this is my second time coming to Delhi because I wanted to come back and give it a chance because last time I'd been here, I really did not like it. I actually hated my experience here the first time. So I wanted to come back here this time to give it a second chance and try to love the place and explore and everything. And it's just been full on today. This is just my honest opinion, obviously, and everyone has different opinions, but I really like to keep the travel real on this channel because you can't paint a pretty picture for everywhere. That's just not the reality. So today has just been one crazy day and I don't think it helps that we've had all this other stress because we've not been able to get access to our money. So that's just been like a massive problem, but I think it's almost fixed now, finally, after a day and a half of trying to sort things out. But we were just walking around so much today, lots of different places, lots of markets. It was amazing, it was intense. It was very, very crazy on all of the senses. But we have been spat at, pushed, almost killed by numerous vehicles driving on the pavements. It's just insane. And also there's not many friendly people around and people do warn you of the many scammers here in Delhi. They really, the hotels really do emphasize that. So then when people do come up to you in the streets and they're trying to be nice to you, you have this like untrusting feeling. You don't know who to trust. You then think everyone's a scammer. I don't know, it's a really tough one. And I'm still really trying to, lovely. I'm still really trying to embrace it here and take it all in. Cause this is all part of the experience. It's just very full on. And if you're ever gonna come to Delhi, just be aware that it's not for everyone. <laughs> I'm feeling much better this evening as we've walked to Connaught Place. I think that's how you say it. And it's really cool. We've just been to a really nice market and it's just a nicer place to walk around. And we just went into a supermarket and found vegan chocolate soya milk. So it's kind of the best day ever right now. Okay, we've just come for dinner at a vegetarian place. There's lots of different food places around, but we've chosen to come here because they cook fresh tandoori right outside. It's amazing. And we've got Ali Gobi and Ali Makani. Just woken up and they haven't had enough tea to caffeinate them for the day. 
So anyway, I quite like the mornings here. It's kind of chaotic, but in a nice kind of sense. So, so we're heading to Humayun's tomb this morning, which I've wanted to go for a really long time now, and I'm so glad that we're heading there today. So I'm excited to just check out a new area of Delhi before we head off to get the train to Agra. The tranquillity here felt so surreal. Built in 1560, Humayun's tomb was the first garden tomb in India and inspired the construction of the Taj Mahal. Standing in a complex of 27 hectares, there are other contemporary 16th century garden tombs around, making it a very peaceful and interesting place to stroll around and soak in India's history and learn about the once was Mughal Empire. This was by far our favourite place in Delhi. It has such good energy there and we wish we could have spent a lot longer exploring the grounds. A must visit if you're planning a trip to Delhi. What a beautiful start to the day amongst the hustle and bustle and craziness of the outside. We've just been in this peaceful, serene environment, just taking in the history and the beautiful architecture. Oh my God, everything is so beautiful. I'm so happy that we came here this morning. Anyway, onwards to India Gate. I feel like I'm learning so much already this morning. India Gate is a war memorial standing at 42 metres high. It commemorates the 70,000 Indian soldiers who lost their lives fighting for the British Army during the World War I. I have so many mixed emotions for Delhi. In some parts I really am not happy and not enjoying it and other places like we've come this morning are just so wonderful. I've really enjoyed our morning but we're a little bit delayed and behind time due to all of the issues we had with our bank card and everything which we finally have sorted Whoop. so we have our train today it's booked at one so we now have to head back to our hostel pick up our bag grab some food and hopefully catch the train our train but there's a six and a half hour delay so we're gonna head back to our hostel this area we're getting harassed so much by people I feel sorry for like everyone's talking to me so we've decided because we have time we have like five hours until our train is super delayed we thought we'd come to the metro station and try to get on the metro somewhere I really want to go to a place called Dilly Hab so I think we've got the ticket to go there I'm not too sure because none of it's in English and it's just really crazy in here I don't know where we're going and what we're doing So that was a pretty big deal. 
but we were both pretty confused and lost at the last station. But we're here now, so we're gonna go and explore the market. We still have over four hours until our train to Agra this evening. So I think this is gonna be a perfect place to just stroll around and enjoy a new part of Delhi, hopefully a nice part of Delhi. <laughs> and like where we are staying, that area is crazy, but I'm really interested to find new places of Delhi that we really like and can enjoy. A shopper's paradise, this market was amazing, selling really awesome, beautiful items that we wish we could have bought a whole suitcase of things. A nice, relaxed atmosphere where you can actually enjoy your shopping experience. our time in Delhi, we're off to Agra. Join us next time as we explore the majestic Taj Mahal and decide on our next destination to witness Diwali Festival. <laughs>